All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. Okay, right, using up your lifeline. Ask the audience. Audience, if you're ready, please, let's try and help out. Fingers on keypads, all vote now. Well, they obviously think it's D. It's your choice. Well, that's an overwhelming indication from the audience, but what does it indicate? You don't have to go along with their answer. It's entirely up to you. You're going for D. You had a thousand pounds guaranteed. You've now got two thousand pounds. Okay, now it's getting rather serious. The money starts to go up and up at this point rather fast. You've got two thousand pounds. You're nine questions away from one million pounds. This question is worth £4,000. Frank McCourt wrote the best-selling novel Angela's... Rashes. Lashes. Sashes. Ashes. You're going for D. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. Well done. You've still got two lifelines, 50-50 and phone a friend. The next question takes you past the halfway mark for the 15 correct answers you need for £1 million. Good luck. Here it comes for £8,000. What is a sudden outbreak of disease infecting large numbers at the same time? Academic. Systemic. Endemic. Epidemic. You're going for D. Oh, I'd love to say you just won £8,000. And I can! You have just won £8,000! You'll win £16,000 if you give me the correct answer to the next question. It's number 9 of 15. Take a look at it. Here it comes. What is the first name of the tennis player with the surname Curtin? Gustavo. Marcello. Andre. Yevgeny. Now at this point you could obviously walk away with £8,000 or you could risk losing £7,000 and play the next question. So you think it's A? You had £8,000. You didn't have to play. You did. It was the right answer. You've just won £16,000. <laughs> you 
You've still got two lifelines, 50-50 and phone a friend. Now you've got £16,000. You can obviously take that money and walk away. You might as well have a look at the next question. Take your time. It's question number 10. If you do decide to play it and give me the right answer, it's worth £32,000. What is the collective marketing term for large household appliances? Time-saving goods. Cold goods. Kitchen goods. White goods. You're going for D. You did have £16,000 in your hand. You've now got £32,000! You've got £32,000 guaranteed. It's in the bag. No one can take that away from you at this point. Now, the next question is worth £64,000. You might as well play this. You can't lose. Take your time. It's becoming very big money. Here it comes. With which sport is the name Martin of Fire associated? Show jumping. Water skiing. Rugby. Fencing. 